friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Joanna. Thank you for stopping. Um, I like to DIY budget friendly. I like to do farmhouse decor. I love, love, love Buffalo check. Um, I like rustic things. I like to take things and make them look old and rustic and sometimes a little dirty. But um, anyways, we like laughter. I love laughter. It's the best medicine, is it not? And sometimes in, in, in times we need laughter. Um, but anyway, with all that being said, I would love for you to stick around um, by hitting that subscribe button because like I said, you never know what you're going to see around here. With all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, so I've got a sign from the Dollar Tree and I have an arrow. Um, you can use any sign from Dollar Tree they have during the year. They have um, signs up for, you know, every uh, holiday, season, whatever, so you can always grab a sign. Peeling the sticker off, and sometimes I have to use heat gun. That time it came off easy. Um, now I'm explaining about the sign. I got ahead of myself, sorry. If you can't find one of those signs for any reason, um, you can always get one. That Walmart sells them now, and you can get um, blanks from Hobby Lobby. The Dollar Tree signs, sometimes you can peel them with the paper. This one just happens to be the case. I've already done one for time's sake. And I am, this is the side that the paper was peeled from, and it's kind of fuzzy. So I'm applying vinyl after I paint it. So I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use um, the smooth side. So I'm taking the shoestring things and pulling them through the holes. That's the best way I know how to explain it. And uh, I'm going to paint it. I'll put these back in later, but I, I want to paint it and I don't want to paint those. So, I'm not worrying about filling the holes because I'm going to stick that thing right through it. I'm going to take Apple Barrel from Walmart. This is just acrylic paint. It does really, really well outside. And this is where I'm going to put this. Um, it's going to be outside by my, by my door for people to see before they think about coming in my house. So, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to give this a good painting and it's going to take two coats. Everything takes two coats. <laughs> so I'm just going to paint it real fast like this right here and get it over with. Um, I was going to leave it like that, but I just painted it all the way because I wanted the vinyl to show. I got this thing. It is a staple puller and it's easier for me to pull the staples than a screwdriver. With a screwdriver I always gouge into my wood and I mess it up. So I got this staple pull from I believe Amazon. Uh, if I did get it from Amazon I will try to link a description in the description box. But I just go under it and wiggle a little bit and it, it pulls well, I tried to pull that. That didn't work, did it? So I'm going back to um, pull my staples out. And that one came pretty easy. Now my string will come out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And this one uh, went flying. That's okay. I'll vacuum and I'll find it. Um... I had to sand the arrow pretty good because it was really bad. Now they're all dry. Um, I dried them with my heat gun from Harbor Freight. Now I'm going to take my Waverly Steel. And of course, I am going to dry brush on them. Okay, so I'm going to take my chip brush that I got from Walmart in a pack. And I'm going to get some chalk paint on it. And I'm going to get some more chalk paint on it. <laughs> and I'm going to dab it off after I got it on it. No, that's the way you do it. And then I'm going to dry brush along. Where did that go? <laughs> I dry brushed that. And now I'm dry brushing the arrow. 
Um, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, whoop, there it is. Um, now I'm going to sand it off. Now I got my ladybug vac and I'm vacuuming. And y'all, if you don't have one of these, if you have a craft room or you craft, you need one, honey. So I'm going to try to link where I got mine in my description. There is my decal. Um, that's not what the original says, but I made mine a little nicer. So I'm going to uh, take my scissors and I'm going to cut off the bottom part because that's what's going to go on the arrow. And I'm just cutting why I have these little scissors. I don't even know why. I don't know where I got them. They, I don't even know why they were on my table. But anyway, now I'm going to check and make sure that everything is spelled correctly. And then... I'm going to take and wipe my board off because when you place vinyl on your board you don't need any dust or debris or particles or anything on there. So then I'm going to take my vinyl and I'm going to take my duck contact paper and I'm going to measure it out. Then I'm going to forget. Then I'm going to measure it out again. And then I'm going to forget again. And then I'm going to measure it out again. Now I'm going to cut. Why I did that, don't even ask. I don't know. Okay, so I asked myself, why do I have these scissors? Okay, so I'm going to peel the backing off, and then I'm going to start from the bottom, and then push my way up, making sure there's no air bubbles, and that it's all stuck down. Now with my Cricut squeegee, which... I do not like um, I don't prefer this one but it was bigger so I used it I just burnished it all down I always turn it over to the back because it's easier to peel up that way um, that way if a letter doesn't uh, come off you can just push your paper back down rub it and you have it down on there then um, I missed my I think it was an apostrophe um, or a comma. I don't even know because I'm upside down. But anyway, I'm using my tweezers to place whatever. Oh, I think it was a comma back where it belongs. And now I'm going to eyeball measure this to my board, which I'm pretty good at. See? Yeah, thumbs up. And then I'm going to squeegee it down and shake the camera like an earthquake. And then I'm going to pull back. And because I did not let mine dry overnight, I was impatient. Some of this cheap vinyl came up. Um, this is just the Paper Studio vinyl and I do not like it at all. I used it because I needed some and I was, you know, um, I needed it quick. And so I went and picked this up while it was on sale and it, it's, it's not really, it would be good for stencils, but as far as, um, vinyl, it's not so good. But anyway, it's on there. Now I'm going to do the bottom and I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to get my duck contact paper and cut a piece off. And here we go again. Peeling. Sticking. Burnishing. I like, I really, really like this little scraper from the Dollar Tree, y'all. It um, was a little rough on the ends. So I took a uh, emery board and sanded it down and made it smoother and it is perfect. I love it. Now I'm just sticking it down real good. And once again, this was wet. So I, I really pushed down while I was pulling back to um, 
make sure I had so much trouble with that with that G but I got it down and you'll see in a minute I had trouble with the Y but I was able to fix that yep I'm hung stuck it wouldn't come off I just pulled it well it was sticking up and it wasn't sticking so I remedied that I rim it re never mind I fixed it <laughs> I use my glue stick and I push it back down man that glue sticks amazing I use it for a lot of stuff all right now I take my string and I'm going to hot glue my string to the back this is the one that came off this originally um, I just had to take it off because I had to flip it over I had to have it point a different way so I adhered that back down and now I'm gonna take ribbon I'm always worried about my stuff melting and falling apart so I am a little extra so I put glue on a ribbon and glue it down and I do the same for the other side but I don't stop the hair <laughs> I'm telling you I really worry about these things um, so I'm putting glue all over this one and I'm gonna stick it down then I am going to get my stapler and pow and then pow and it's on there now buddy okay so I cut that in half or what I think is the half nobody's perfect okay now I'm trying to measure it center it up by eyeballing it and I'm just gonna put hot glue down and then stick my twine in there and then I'm gonna make sure it's even and then do the same on the other side I am so shocked I did not get burnt but you know all went well this time now I'm gonna do my ribbon except I'm gonna do it long ways so there goes one side and then here goes the other side Ah, there it is I love it but of course I took my stapler and I stapled the top too um, just because I'm extra like I said so I am looking for aha okay so this is the one with the like um, shoestring end on it that came off so I'm just pushing it right back through the holes and um, that's what I'm gonna use to hang it and there it is it's so cute I'm gonna love it on my front out there oh uh, I am going to spray this with 2x um, spray paint rust-oleum one of my favorites it's a clear coat and because this is going outside I don't know that it'll get wet on my carport but it may draw moisture or humidity because it gets really humid here so I'm gonna take that outside and I'm gonna coat it and spray it down okay so I have these two um, plaques or whatever you want to call them that I got at the Dollar Tree and I like the sayings but not the picture so much I had other ideas so I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint and I'm gonna paint the one that says so water and weight um, I made a decal to go on there of course so I'm gonna start painting any day now okay here we go I am painting so fast it takes two coats of course two coats always two coats
I'm going to put that to the side to dry and I'm going to work on this one. I have paper from the paper studio at Hobby Lobby. It goes on sale. It's like 25 cents a sheet when you get it on sale. And I'm going to take my super glue that I love. I mean super glue. Good Lord. Glue stick that I love. Pardon me. And I'm going to cover this making sure I get the edges very well. And then I'm going to stick my paper to it. It seemed easier to me this way. So that's the way I did it. And I am going to push this down and then um, I'm going to take and try to squeeze any excess glue out. And then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut around and then release my paper. I had glue on the front a little bit that I had noticed so I'm gonna wipe that off in a minute um, I'm sanding the edges just because I like that look I prefer the way it looks it looks like the paper is actually you know made to the wood and not just sitting on it um, now I'm rubbing the glue off it rubs off thank God and then there's my decal. And I'm going to take my transfer tape. And I'm going to peel it and stick. Y'all know the drill. Here we go. Squeegee it down. I didn't like that squeegee. I got the Dollar Tree squeegee. <laughs> And I cut it off at the bottom because I wanted to make sure that I got it, fl you know, flush and even with the bottom. So now I'm just going to line it up. And I'm going to turn around so you can see, maybe. Maybe it was for me to see better. I don't know. Burnish it down and then peel my paper back oh it came off so easy making sure all the letters are stuck down and I'm done I love it that's our home sweet okay now I've got my second one my paints on it I'm gonna put this scripture on there um when it's on there and you see it, it will all make sense as to the so water weight. Um, put in my duck contact paper on there, squeegeeing it down. And then I notice I am missing an eye. Um, sometimes when you do little thin fonts like that and you pull the vinyl and you're weeding, um, a letter or especially a dot will come up with it and so my letter's gone but it's an easy fix I'm just gonna go over to the um, computer and I'm gonna pull my de my design over and into the um, mat area and then I'm gonna ungroup everything that I had grouped pull out an eye and then recut that eye and place it where it needs to be easy fix as long as you keep your designs in the area or save them you're able to do this once you delete them though you know or resize them if you resize them you might as well forget it okay so I cut out my other one and I'm fixing to lay that down and I'm gonna weed it it don't take long I just take the pink tool pick it up and it's you know it's weeded. Um, I lost my transfer tape. Look over there. There you go. Okay. Then I noticed that the dot is there. And I don't need the dot that I had. So now I have to take the tweezers and get the dot off of my eye. All I need is the eye, not the dot. Push it down where it needs to go. 
and then peel your paper off, voila, it is done. Easy peasy, there it is. Well, thank you for watching. That was fun. Um, had some obstacles along the way with my vinyl, but if I would have had Oracle or a uh, permanent vinyl, then it would have worked out a whole lot better. So always remember that when you do your projects, if you want them to stick really good, um, to get an Oracle or a permanent vinyl. Um, I prefer Oracle myself um, because it just it sticks better and it looks better and I buy the map when I can find it but um, anyways if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'm almost positive that I mean I know I've been married to my husband for a while and I love that one and then I love scripture but I think the one from my front door was absolutely my favorite so <laughs> let me know in the comments what your favorite was and um, God bless and I'll catch you next time